Hey everyone, okay, in this video we are going to talk about quantizing and how it works on elastic audio, MIDI, and regular audio. All right, off we go. Okay, so first thing, what's quantizing? Well, quantizing is just about taking audio, and for instance, something starts right here, this guitar hit, right? So maybe this should be the beat right here. Maybe the beat should start right there, and we can clearly see that the this recording is to the grid, and yet maybe this guitar note is starting too early. Quantizing would take that note and move it onto the grid. Now typically we don't do this with real audio, even though we can. We do it plenty with MIDI because it's so easy to do and it's really quick to do it. So you'll notice some of these MIDI, uh, MIDI hits are a little bit late. That actually sounds pretty good in this drum part. And this piano part, some of them are early, some of them are late, and we can easily put them on the grid. So that's what quantizing is for. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is I deliberately played this piano part a little bit off time, a little bit late, a little bit lazy. I wasn't trying to be perfect. So let's hear the piano part real quick with the rest of the mix. So it could just be tightened up a little bit, it kind of works, but it could be better. So how can we get these notes onto the grid so they really fit uh, right onto the beats? So one thing we can do is go to Event Menu and then Event Operations and choose Quantize. Now, by the way, when you play in, you can also choose to input Quantize, uh, but often all that does is flatten out what you're doing and can cause some annoying results like if it's set to too large of a value and you try and play like two eighth notes when the quantized grid is set to a half note, it won't let you put anything but half notes in. And by the way, if you're recording MIDI and you're only getting these giant notes where it won't let you put in separate faster rhythms, often it's because input quantize is on and you're recording in and it's flattening out your rhythms. So I typically don't use it on the way in with input quantize. Instead, I record whatever I'm gonna record and then quantize it afterwards if necessary. So I'm gonna click again, event, event operations, and then quantize. And we'll get a window here. So the event operations window, and it's set to quantize right now. So all I really need to do is choose my grid. So do I want this piano part to be right on 16th? And that's true, I want it to hit the 16th because it was a little bit off. And then just hit apply. And let's zoom in and see what we got. Actually, I'm gonna undo it and notice here's a note and here's the grid. Here's a note, here's the grid. I'm gonna apply and notice all the note starts are now lined up with the grid. And let's hear what we got. Cool. So. I'm gonna undo that real quick. It sounds much better, right? It's much cleaner, much clearer. And I'm gonna zoom in again. And then just so you can see what happens with a couple of these settings. So one is note on is checked. That means that it will push the start of the note onto the grid. Now if you put note off, it will also put the end of the note onto the grid. And that means that if it's adjusting both ends of a particular um, bit of MIDI data, it will actually change the duration, the length of the notes. So in order to put both on the grid like this, notice preserve note duration goes away. We'll talk about that in one sec. If I hit apply now, the starts and ends will line up, right? And that may not sound as good. It may sound a little robotic to have it come off at exactly a grid spot. <laughs> Overall, it sounds fine here. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, but typically, I don't use not note off because I want to preserve my note durations. And if I did note on without preserve note duration selected, what it will do is just move the starts, but it'll leave the ends where they are. So here I go again. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see. Look at the endings. The starts will move over to the grid lines, but without preserve note duration on, the endings stay put. Right, they stay wherever they were. And then 
preserve note duration keeps your note duration the same and will just move either the note on or the note off to the right place. So I can move either one and keep the lengths of the notes the way that I played them originally. So typically what you want is the note on where you hit the note and keep the duration to keep kind of the feel. So the most common settings are note on and preserve note duration. And then you apply and they go right on. So let's see what happens if I instead do quarter notes and hit apply. And now it's pushed my notes away from any of those eighth note portions of the grid. Now they've moved all into quarter note places and now it's not gonna sound as good. <laughs> So that's often what happens uh, if your quantized grid is not the right one. Or say I tried to record that line in with input quantize on the wrong setting. That's often the kind of sound that you get. It pushes you onto the wrong portion of the grid. So nice thing about these MIDI things, you can un undo it really easily and all fixed, right? And now it's, I'm actually going to leave it unquantized in a little bit off time, slightly off the grid, uh, just so that we can try doing some other things with it later. Cool, so that's quantizing MIDI. Now we can also quantize regular audio, non-elastic audio, but all that happens is, is it will quantize the start of the clip onto the grid, which is generally not helpful. But say that you had a whole bunch of gunshots and each one was a separate clip like this, in generally the right place so maybe that sound is a special effect you're using in a film or something you can actually quantize those right onto the grid and those say say that the actual gunshot sound is right where it needs to be you can make the gunshot sound happen on the grid in time the way you want it to potentially using quantize so event and then say quantize event operations and then quantize and then say that I want each of these uh, pretend you know special effects to happen on the eighth note I can get all their note starts and you need to make sure when you do this that you from this drop down here that is now enabled where it wasn't with MIDI needs to be on audio clips and then you'll notice all the other stuff automatically grays out because it no longer matters and we hit apply those guys now all are living on a 16th note, whatever the nearest 16th note was. So those got pushed on the, onto the grid and it's only the start of each clip that gets pushed. But say that you have a bunch of separated drum hits, you could totally use quantize grid on that and have all those starts of each clip pushed right onto the grid or right onto the downbeat, wherever you want it. And then maybe a special effect like footsteps where you want it to be even and each footstep is its own clip, you could use it for that as well. Then when it comes to quantizing elastic audio, so let's turn elastic audio on for this guitar track. That would be this guy next to the plunger, polyphonic, right? So let's see what we have. Let's look at our analysis view and it's doing... <laughs> a few too many things right in there it's a little bit too sensitive but let's see what happens when we do it anyway so I'm gonna go back to my waveform and we're gonna try and get this guitar track let's just see what happens when we quantize actual audio so to do that we go over to elastic audio events and now it will push the elastic audio events it will promote a lot of these guys to warp markers so I'm gonna go look in the warp view right now these guys will get promoted to warp markers and pushed onto the grid. So we're going to use a 16th note grid. There's nothing faster that's being played than a 16th for the most part. And I'm just going to hit apply and see what we get. And it just slightly adjusted. And you notice a lot of these event markers turned into warp markers and then basically pulled each other onto the grid wherever they needed to be. So I'm going to hit apply again just so you see it happen. So they're all turned into warp markers now and now they are pushed onto the grid and it may actually not sound as good but let's see yeah it made it a little bit boxy sounding it's not as it's not as clean the feels not as good but you can see how good of a job it did just pushing everything right onto the grid and if you take a little time to get rid of these 
kind of uh, non rhythmic event kinds of markers if you get rid of them in analysis view it will do an even better job so if I delete that guy now this little chunk will probably sound a lot better when it's quantized so that's using the quantize event operations window to quantize either MIDI or regular audio clips where you only get the start of the clip quantized or if you've processed with elastic audio then you can do some quantization that way too. Cool, and that's it for that one. See you in the next one.